this beautiful relationship which we have with Australia from last more than 10 years. We have had Australian children coming to the school on four earlier occasions and we have been, children have been going, kids have been going to Australia and they have stayed over in homestays in Australia. And I think I owe to one principal in Australia of Kalinda Primary School near Melbourne, Mrs. Grace. A big hand to that lady. I think she's retired now. But she made this happen again and again. And we felt so warm and welcome. We are sure now, with this Victorian young, Victoria young leaders, and this beautiful program of Australian Indian young student ambassadors, we will unite this world. Children will be handing over this world to you all now. You youngsters will take over this world in the next generation. The world is going to be very different because what took in technology 60 years to develop in our time, today technology is going so rapidly fast that it's happening in few years, five, six years, with artificial intelligence and robotics coming. The entire, the entire platforms, education, everything, research is going at a very, very fast pace. In fact, after nearly three decades of lull in space programs, suddenly this year, they again, USA, USSR, China, India, Everyone, your country, Australia, everyone is joining the space race and everyone's trying to send. I am very confident many of you will, in your ears, will visit Mars. You will see, go to Mars, you will. I am thinking you very lucky age because by the time you will develop, you all go traveling and the moon is a real possibility in the very near future. So it's a wonderful thing. But this will happen if you all unite, if we have peace and harmony. And that is why the countries are making student exchange programs. So you understand firsthand that everyone's beautiful, everyone's so pure. And you will make this world a beautiful place to live. And I'm sure we will take this, this uh, 10 days, 12 days, 15 days you're with us. We will try and make it as memorable as possible for you all. And we request you all, please, let us know any way we can make it more comfortable. And I ask the children, the buddies and everyone, please be relationship. Even today, our children who have been to Kalinda Primary School, their parents have become friends. They talk to each other even now after more than five, seven years. Hundreds of our children are studying in Australia, in colleges. It's a huge, it's a, we, I think we have been to Australia for more than five times. With hundreds of our children having gone to Australia on beautiful educational tours. So it is home for us too. And we keep, we'll keep coming to this beautiful country of yours. It's a massive country. I don't think even 10% of people have occupied. 90% is a continent, it's a huge country, it's massive. We went to New Zealand and we were in the aircraft and we were just seeing Australia starting. Children asked me, which continent is that? I told them Australia. They had lunch, they had a good nap, they slept and they got up. And they told me after nearly two hours, two and a half hours, which continent is that? I said, it's Australia. We were going to New Zealand. So your country is a beautiful, such a massive, beautiful country and lovely people. And you people really live life well because you enjoy sports. Many of our people went at 5.36, everyone is out. Weekend, on Friday, everyone is out. They all enjoy sports. They go off to do beautiful yachting and everything there. Children, to live life, Learn from Australians. Thank you very much. And thank you very much, everyone. Welcome again. We welcome you to our country and we welcome to the school. Thank you very much.
Thank you so much, sir. Next, we feel privileged to play for the gathering the Australian National Anthem and the Indian National Anthem. I request you all to please rise as a mark of reverence. I request our Australian friends to please come upon the stage. <laughs> 